Today we are gonna talk about spring cleaning in the kitchen. Yesterday I was like, you know what, my refrigerator really needs to get cleaned out. I am going to deep clean the inside of my refrigerator. I went in yesterday and I scrubbed, except for the door where all the condiments were because I did have a leak the other day in there. I ended up pulling everything out of the door and scrubbing that side. So I went deep into my fridge. I pulled out all the shelves, all the glass, all the drawers and so I could see the whole inside of my fridge. And there were things you could see that had spilled, got down underneath. So I grabbed a cloth and I grabbed um, some vinegar and water and I attacked the refrigerator. So down in my laundry room I have this basket. This I got from the good old Dollar Tree. And I have some rags or cloths in here. And I just roll them up, stick them there, stick them on top of my shelf. Grab my rag and I went in with vinegar and water and I scrubbed. And once that was done, I washed all of the shelves, the, the glass, deep cleaned it with hot soapy water. And I just used dish soap and soaked them up good and let them dry on the counter. Went back over with the towel, wiped them dry and then put them back into the refrigerator. I also went into the side of my freezer and pulled out all the food and got rid of things and put it back in neatly and created a meal plan for the week. <laughs> I figured I'm in the fridge, I see what I have up here, I'll create a little meal plan. <laughs> so I got some meals out of it. Down at the bottom of your refrigerator, or at least on mine, is the vent area. I like to get in there and clean those vents, vacuum, scrub, vinegar, water, get in there and clean that part of my refrigerator. So that is on my to-do list still in the kitchen. Now I did clean the microwave, I deep cleaned the inside of it, and I love cleaning the microwave. I kind of love it when it does get a little dirty in there, and a little crusty, because it's like, ah. I love the magic of what vinegar and water and maybe adding some lemon in can do to your microwave. So I grabbed a cup of water and added a fourth cup of vinegar into the water. I put it in a measuring cup and I put it into my microwave. I did it for about three minutes. I let it boil in there and then I let it sit for another two. Then I went in, pulled out the water. I washed the tray, put it back in there and just everything just wiped right off. It was like whoosh. I love doing that. I don't mind cleaning the microwave. Super fast clean. I love cleaning the microwave. Then yesterday, I decided to clean out my oven. I spilt some shepherd's pie in my oven and smoked up my house. <laughs> Yikes. So my oven needed a deep clean. What I use to clean my oven is this oven grill cleaner from Norwex. I'll leave a link to it below. Yeah, I heated my oven to 170 degrees. That is as low as my oven will go. I turned it off, let it cool down just a little bit, and then I went in and I sprayed my oven and grill cleaner all throughout it, even the window part of the door shut it for about two more minutes you can go between two to five minutes and then i went in with a scrubber and water and i just pulled everything up and then i wiped it out i love love cleaning my oven this way ever since i found this cleaner it is so good there's no harsh chemicals did you guys know that it's really dangerous to use your self-cleaning oven on your oven like you're supposed to literally move your oven far 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 out away from the wall one of the leading causes of fires in the home is your oven like the, the self-cleaning gets way too hot and releases these chemicals from the oven you're actually supposed to leave the house and grab your animals out especially your birds so I figured this is not the way that I want to clean my oven so I love cleaning my oven this way then what I did was something I haven't done in a while was clean that bottom drawer of my oven. This is where we keep like our iron like um, pizza pans that we used to smoke our pizza out outside with. I had to clean down there. I vacuumed out all the crumbs, wiped it down. I even cleaned on the side where the rails are. It gets really dusty down there. 
and catches all the grease and stuff, so I wipe those down as well. Next thing that I did yesterday was clean under my sink. So I pulled everything out, wiped everything down, and then got rid of anything I didn't need, which basically was a few um, flower vases that I got in the last few months that I didn't need. So I ended up donating those. It's good to just get in there, grab your favorite cleaner. I had a mixture of vinegar and water, and I just cleaned the inside of that and um, felt good. It's a good way to see if you're having any water leakage or damage because one time Derek and I did find a leak that we had no idea about. We had to replace the bottom of our sink. It was quite scary. Um, thank goodness that we have a vent under here because that um, kept the wood dry. Check under your sink periodically, it pays off. Um, I want to steam clean my curtains. They collect odors, all the cooking, they collect odors and things. So I'm gonna give the curtains a clean. I want to deep dust my blinds here and I want to clean in the window tracks of the window. I also wanna dust high. I wanna get all the cobwebs or dust above um, my cupboards and get all up there on top of the refrigerator as well. But I want to do some more of the deep dusting and wipe out my drawers and wipe out the inside of the bottom cabinets and go through and just see is there any other bowls or do I have too much of something and I could donate it. That is the goal, the next goal that I have for spring cleaning in my kitchen. Any tips in this area for everybody, please leave them down below. I would love to know what tools you use, what cleaners you use, how do you tack your kitchen for spring cleaning. See you soon, bye.